what's going on guys snake eyes here playing some more dark souls 2 and in this video i'm going to show you how to beat the ancient dragon but i'm showing you the beginning of this because i kind of want you guys to see how i do the run maybe it'll help you out maybe not but i just wanted to leave this in there just just in case and um right here i definitely recommend wearing your lightest armor because there's going to be a couple points in this run where wearing really light armor and being able to roll as much as you can when you do really help you out right here being one of them where I can run right past these guys I definitely recommend sticking to the outer edge so that way when they these guys attack they go a little bit further ahead leaving that door clear um, right when I open up this door right here what I like to do is I like to stick to the right you can go to the left but I haven't had any practice with it um, I do the right because that's what's most comfortable for me and um, basically when you stick to the right it'll allow you to deal with these guys one at a time right here I run towards the middle but that's because their attacks are slow and when you get up to this last guy I definitely recommend just rolling even if it doesn't look like he's gonna do anything just roll anyways because the invincibility frames are actually gonna make sure that you don't get hit but as soon as you come in I definitely recommend running to the right hit the limb that I'm about to hit right now because what he's gonna do when you run to the right is do his fire breath attack that'll let you get in a couple free hits and um, after that attack the limb and only the limb that I'm doing right now and basically what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna pretty much when you attack that limb he's only gonna do two moves and one of them is gonna be when he jumps in the air and the other one is when he's gonna shift his foot to um, to try to kick you but you know if you guys manage your stamina enough uh, that'll never hit you and there are two things that I want you guys to pay attention to in this fight from the beginning all the way to the run to now one of them is stamina usage never let your stamina go below you know go negative or go below a certain point um, as you can see I never attack even though I could attack I never let out that last attack and basically the reason why is because when your stamina goes negative it takes a minute to re uh, to regen but not only that you're not going to be able to run for a certain amount of time and you definitely need to be able to run as fast as you can because after you do about three attacks to his back leg he's going to jump up in the air or he's going to move his foot like that and if you don't have any stamina left you're pretty much going to die the next thing that you need to worry about is that when he does jump up pay attention to how i'm running right now notice that i'm running towards the tip of his tail that's pretty much helping me do two things one it's letting me know the range that i'm at to where his fire blast is hitting the ground and two it's letting me know where his body is now i don't recommend locking on this boss or any boss that is too big for you to get a full screen of i don't recommend it um but there are little ways that you can kind of get an eye on him without actually looking at him and uh, as you notice every time he jumps up I'm always keeping towards the end of his tail um, it's better to run too far out than to assume that you've ran far enough and then that'll end up surprising you um, one thing that you don't want to do is get him to the corner of the maps because that could be that can mean uh, dodging that flame attack that he does um, it can make it pretty damn difficult and uh, another thing I've said it before don't let your stamina drain because you never know when you're gonna have to roll or run and um, that's something that I learned the hard way there are a couple times in this match where I let it go negative and those times I actually could have died so I got really lucky and I'll be honest the move that he did while he was um, while I was in negative stamina like this one right here um, I got really really lucky because I couldn't run and uh, it was good that I went ahead and just got out as soon as I could because if not any sooner than that I probably would have died now I don't know if you noticed but the run that I did to the boss and the fight that I'm doing right now are two different uh, two different uh, clips and the reason I did that was because the run that I did to this one wasn't that great and I wanted to show you guys a perfect run where I don't get hit so that way you guys can know exactly how uh, to route yourself but um, other than that like I said he's pretty simple stick to his back leg to the leg that I'm hitting right now stay hitting that because he's only going to be able to do two moves I guess you can count three if he just jumps up and shifts to the side but I don't really count that because he's just repositioning himself but there are times where I'm too far out and I could attack his tail the reason I don't is because when you start attacking the tail or any part of any other part of his body 
you're pretty much baiting another attack and even though his other attacks are pretty easy to dodge this will make it the most consistent fight that you can have right here it was really dangerous I get really close to beating him and uh, one my stamina is really low and uh, two he's in the corner of the thing uh, the main thing to know is just um, watch your stamina as you can see I'm only doing one attack and it's better to be safe than sorry especially if he's already down to this much this boss right here has the most health of any boss in this game and he also um, I guess in terms of stats is the toughest boss because one he most of his attacks are unblockable and uh, the one attack that is blockable uh, deals too much damage and I don't have a fire resistant shield so me blocking them is pretty much pointless it'll kill me anyways but uh, there you go like I said the fight was mainly consistent because it's best to focus your attack on that limb um, and also have the lightest armor that you can wear the armor that I'm wearing right now everything that I have equipped right now weighs up to exactly 50% of my total equip load and basically what that means is I'm gonna be able to get the best roll the best run um, that I can while I still have armor on so I hope this helped you out um, I really hope to help you out dude I hope you're not still stuck on this guy uh, he is tough but doing this will probably make it a little bit more easier for you i hope it does um and for everybody else i hope this helped you guys out too but uh that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for me leave a like if you enjoy subscribe if you haven't already and until next time take care